What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video here on my channel. Today I'm starting it off from the morning and I'm currently going to have some breakfast. I'm going to show you right now. It doesn't look very attractive, yeah, but it's going to be very delicious. Anyways, that's not my rest day breakfast, but today we don't have any bread so I can't make a toast with eggs. So I'm improvising and I'm eating some oats with cocoa powder, some peanut butter and some banana right there. Anyways, right now after I have this, I'm going to go help my mom with some errands. Then I'm coming back home so I can talk to you about some things that are happening in my life. I know we've already seen the title down there so you know what I'm going to be talking about. But it's not only that, however, I'm going to talk about all of the things happening in my life later when I come back home. Now I'm going to demolish this and I'm going to see you later guys. Sunny, it's hell of a good day today. Woo! By the way, tell me in the comment section down below if you like camo too, because it's like my favorite. I love it. Vous allez à moi ou quoi Qu'est-ce que tu fais Je n'ai pas vu Tu te laisses trop près de la caméra, mais je suis moins trop Et je m'en fous de quoi Je vais te faire un peu de temps pour toi Et c'est Baba Trainer à Fitness Tu as vu la vie à la pavka Oui Ou la pavka Allez, gars Oh Il y a un toilet dans le milieu de la route Je vais certainement garder ça en compte everybody now I'm back home and just before I tell you all about what's happening in my life you know how I always complain about how bad the lighting is and that I'm worried because you won't like the quality because of the awful lighting well yeah I have repeated that a thousand times but I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true and now I decided to upgrade my lighting gear but because I'm kind of uh, on a low budget I had to buy a lighting that is a bit cheaper and I bought it from Aliexpress as you may guess uh, here I bought some protector for my camera this is for my mom and here is the lighting right there yeah it really is adjustable and you can adjust the brightness and also the warmth so I hope it will make a huge difference in my videos it really cost me around $40 it's not very cheap but it's not crazy expensive either so yeah, I guess it's perfect, but you know, the greatest disadvantage here is that it's going to come after 50 days. Yeah, so I'm going to be waiting, I'm going to be making videos without it for now, and I hope that the lighting will be good. The thing is that I'm limited to shooting only throughout the day, and I really have to find good lighting spots, but anyways, I'm going to bear with it until the light, the light comes. I just wanted to let you know that soon the quality of the videos will be on a whole new level i hope anyways guys that aside i'm really impatient to get the light but i don't want to talk about this today i want to talk about my left shoulder right here so here's what happened about four weeks ago i felt a slight pain in my left shoulder on a push day and as stupid as I am I decided to continue with the push day I really hit a nice gym session you know heavy and everything and I continued like that I haven't changed anything in my routine for two weeks but then eventually the shoulder really started to hurt and limit myself so I started a deload week and if you don't know what a deload week is I'm going to put my other video about deload weeks right 
here so we can check it out. But even though I started a deload week, nothing changed. The pain was pretty much the same and it was getting even worse. At which I got a little bit depressed because every chest exercise was like a dream for me because I couldn't do anything because every exercise also implements the shoulder and let's not even talk about shoulder exercises so yeah i still continued training legs and back but when i was training back it again hurt my shoulder and also when i was doing squats you have to hold the bar in some kind of way and the shoulder again hurt so about four or five days ago i stopped training at all and around a week ago I went to my GP to get a document for an orthopedic that was supposed to give me another document for a physiotherapist that document is necessary for me because it makes the physiotherapist work for free you know it's the country that is paying for my healing so I went to my GP she gave me a document to go to an orthopedic in another hospital so yeah I went there and here's another very crazy story the orthopedic was straight a mad guy I went there I sat on some kind of chair and he started the checking process so it, he made me do these kind of movements he wanted to check my shoulder and he did and after that he sat on his chair and started writing something on a piece of paper at which I'm like he's going to give me pills isn't he and guess what he gave me pills I don't need them in fact I need a professional who will take good care of my shoulder and that will heal it I need a physiotherapist I don't need pills I have never consumed any except for some vitamins and you know omega-3 and things like that but that's not the craziest part my girlfriend was right beside me and she was waiting for me throughout the whole time and he was asking me things like are you doing things that her father doesn't like are you having sex are you having sex and he wouldn't stop and I told him yo that is not something to be ashamed of but it's very personal and I'm not going to discuss it with you or with anybody that I don't know personally and he continued asking questions that I would never answer him. Anyways, eventually I got out of the cabinet and we left it off with my girlfriend. After that, I looked at a piece of paper and there were only pills that I was surely not going to consume because, you know, they are only painkillers. They are not going to destroy the source of the pain. They are only going to soothe the pain, which I don't want i want something sustainable that will allow me to continue my progress in the gym and basically in life so on the next day i came back there and i firmly said that i want a document for a physiotherapist it didn't take much effort for him to give me the document but he continued asking the question where is your girlfriend uh, she was outside by the way where is your girlfriend are you having sex with her this guy just wouldn't stop but anyways i took the document and i happily got out of his cabinet that's not the end though. Then I went to registration with that document to ask for a physiotherapist in that same hospital and they told me about some kind of woman and then I got there and she, by the way my mom was with me on that day, yes I can do pretty much everything by myself but when you're under the age of 18 people just don't take you seriously at all. Even though I have seen people that are pretty much less mature than me above the age of 18 but anyways that's a different topic that I'm not going to discuss right now we went to that woman's cabinet with my mom and we asked for physiotherapy and she started explaining some kind of things that didn't make sense at all I guess she was just in a bad mood or she was drunk I don't know so my mom didn't understand anything because at the time she was the only one listening to that woman I was just like what am I going to do with my shoulder I hope it's fine my mom was listening to that woman and the things that she was saying didn't make any sense to my mom so she continued asking uh, excuse me Will you repeat that please because I didn't understand and this woman she got mad she got angry and she started screaming at my mom at which we got out of that cabinet and we were going to search for another physiotherapist in a pretty different hospital than that one because these people they are crazy so that evening we checked for some kind of clinics and we found a really good one that had very good reviews and things and then I took the document that this orthopedic had given me and I saw that that woman the physiotherapist while she was screaming at my mom she had put her sign 
on the document, which means that this document is now hers. So she's the one that is going to be healing me. I hope you get that. She was not the one that was going to be healing me for sure. And this pretty much messed up the whole document and it was pretty much worthless right now. I tried my best to scan the document and remove her print, her sign from the list, but it didn't work. When we printed that thing, it just seemed like it was fake because it actually was fake. So I decided to just go to the clinic and explain what the situation was. And here comes another crazy story. I explained the whole story to the people at the reception of that clinic and they wanted to take a look at the piece of paper, the document that would allow me to go to a physiotherapist. I know it's all pretty complicated, but I hope you get it. So they take the document and they look at it and they're like, that physiotherapist is from our clinic. The woman that was crazy AF in that hospital is also a doctor in that clinic. How is that possible? I didn't even care. After not a long time of thinking, I decided to just go to her and just save a place for me for a physiotherapy session because I didn't have much choices, you know? That document was worthless anyway if I wasn't going to go to that woman. So I go there and I just saved my place for a physiotherapy session that is going to be on Monday and it's currently Saturday by the way I'm shooting that video on Saturday so here is the situation right now I am resting I'm letting my shoulder rest too and I'm starting physiotherapy sessions from Monday and I guess they will continue for around 10 days and throughout that time I really don't want to rest you know throughout the whole time but I guess I will have to but if I feel better I'm going to hit the gym because I really want to even I want right now now, but I know it will be a very stupid idea to do it so I will just contain myself. Unfortunately, these are not the only things that are happening to me right now. In fact, two days ago, I started getting some uh, relatively pale, small pimples on my body and they started spreading relatively fast. If I haven't talked about this and I think that I haven't made a video about it, I had chicken pox around nine months ago and it's a very disgusting disease guys so i got really scared because this is both contagious and really disgusting and you can't suffer from chicken pox twice it means that you're going to die so i really got worried but to be honest when you have chicken pox or something like that the pimples are relatively big and also very red. So yesterday they continued spreading but at the end of the day they kind of started just getting more pale. And today when I woke up they were you know on my whole body and on my stomach they are pretty much going away and I think that this is a rush. Yesterday I was going to go to a derm... dermio... the... Yesterday I was going to go to a dermatologist. Yeah, to a dermatologist. Yesterday I was going to go to a dermatologist, but unfortunately all of them had closed their cabinets. Only the private hospitals had dermatologists working at that time and they are taking some really big sums. So I didn't go to one and today when I woke up it was all kind of getting better. So right now I'm a bit more hopeful and I think that I'm going to be good. I can show you how the rash looks right now. It's not very disgusting, but if you don't want to watch it when I'm showing you, just skip that part. Here is the time when I'm going to continue with the video. It's not very bad, by the way, otherwise I wouldn't show you. If you can see it, yeah, these kind of pimples, I don't have any on my chest, but I have some on my stomach, some on my legs, and my shoulders and arms. And I'm kind of worried that the person that is going to take care of my physiotherapy sessions is going to be kind of worried, but I hope that until Monday, everything will be good. Now guys, I'm going to show you something relatively strange and unusual. I'm going to put a compress of ginger on my injured shoulder because it's anti-inflammatory and will help me to heal my shoulder. First off, take some kind of cloth where you're going to put the grated ginger. Then of course, grated ginger.
All right guys, now the compress is on my shoulder and I have really limited range of motion so I'm not going to do much with my shoulder. Now I'm just going to rest. I showed you how the compress is made and I'm going to keep you updated with how it works and whether it's effective or not. By the way, it's going to stay on my shoulder for around three hours. A few moments later. Woo, guys, it's burning right now. It's like soaking up the inflammation. In fact, that's what happens. I have read about it. The ginger is soaking up the inflammation. I know it sounds unreal, but in fact, that is what happens. It's the natural way to do it. It's really nice, guys. It's really delightful. And by the way, guys, I'm going to be having this right now. It looks awesome, personal to me. And I've got some pork burgers right there for some extra protein. And yeah, go enjoy that right now. All right, everybody, here is that thing after three hours and a half or something like that. It really burns, it still burns, and at some point it got painful. Anyways, I know, or I suppose, and it's supposed to be working, and I believe that it's working. So anyways, now I'm going to remove it and I'm going to see how my skin looks below it. Whoa. <laughs> I told you it was burning. Woo! It has gotten really red. Anyways, now I'm going to remove that, then I'm going to dress up and I'm going out with my girlfriend, unfortunately, to study. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camo again. I told you that I love camo. Alright guys, here's the deal, I'm just in front of the place where my girlfriend lives, but I put on a white shirt and my mother was eating a pomegranate and she has made that. So mom, I know you watch my videos, when I come back home, I promise I'll kill you. No, I won't. Alright guys, studied a little bit, now I'm going to head home and I'm going to end the vlog right here because I found a very nice lighting right there, it's like I bought that one from Aliexpress, anyways I'm going to end the vlog here again, so if you like the video don't forget to smash the like button right there and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the little bell so you can see my upcoming videos guys, and again don't forget, stay healthy, stay positive, learn, enjoy, grow and I'll see you in the next one.